Hey guys, it's Maria. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a good afternoon. I decided to do a getting ready with me video. Um, as you guys, some of you may know, I do this in two different parts because, let's face it, we'll be here all day doing this. So, uh, I put most of my makeup in this little basket thing that I keep when I share with you guys my favorites. And so I'm going to do the eyes in this video and then I'm going to do the face. So I've already got my eyelids prepped. I've got my little lotion I put on there. i got Urban Decay Primer Potion on there. And then I put I Love Sage eyeshadow base from Essence. So yeah, I thought this would be fun. I may post, I'm probably going to post these up at separate days. So, um, but the eyeshadow palette we're going to be wearing today is the LA Colors one and Trendy. I'd hold this in my birthday haul and I actually wore it yesterday and it did really well. I wore this color on the lid and I wore this one in the crease. This one was a favorite new shade. And then I just wore this, a little touch of it on my, my brow. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. And let me see if I need to do anything else. Now, you can tell I'm breaking out. Um, I, I took this out to put it in my um, basket. This is Essence 3 one concealer. And you'll see this in the face. Getting ready with me. So, uh, I guess let's just get going. I don't have the light on in here. I'm using the light of the window to get going. And I'm just taking the shader brush from Urban Decay. Again, this is not a tutorial. This is just me talking to you about what I'm using, I guess. Like a talk through. That's the one suggests I do this. So, um, yeah, I guess let's just, uh, I'm going to try this color right here and go. I probably use those colors up here. But yeah, I was really pleasantly surprised by this. Now, I've got my makeup mirror on, but I can't see that far. So, I'm going to use this Hello Kitty mirror to see what I'm doing. Um, the shadows in this are, again, they're powdery, but I thought it was a really great little find so because you have to be careful with these when you go to blend out your shadow a little bit it'll make the color probably go away that I think that's why I don't buy a lot of theirs hardly anymore but I don't know if they revamped the formula to these but I don't know I was really pleasantly surprised there was one that was a three dollar one I told you that I bought at Walgreens and I have since returned it. It just didn't have the punch like this one and the those other two ones I shared with you guys that I got at the purple one and the nude one I got at Walgreens. So you know usually you find stuff at Dollar Tree they're not as pigmented. But yeah it's kind of a it's like the sun keeps going in and out, partly cloudy day. And what I've been doing a lot lately with my eyeshadow is been taking this Sonia Kashuk number 109 brush. And I love this brush. You can get this at Target. And what I do is every time I, before I do my crease, I go in there and try to blend it out. I always want to try to get better at my blending. And I know this looks horrendous in the video, but... Try to blend it out like it. you're looking at a sunset. You know, it's well blended. And I'm usually not satisfied with it until I get it, if I feel like I blended it out. Sometimes I'll over blend it, but this is a great little brush. I know there's other high-end brushes out there, but if you're in the market for a good eyeshadow blending brush, this is one. It's... A crease color brush but I mainly use it for blending the crease color in there I remember back in the day when I started YouTube I just I wouldn't do it I was thought I was the shit I was doing it and I've learned a long time ago no <laughs> that I need help with my makeup so I think that's another reason why I've avoided this. Now I'm going to go in with that shade I was telling you guys about. It's kind of like a mauve color. I don't know. It's really pretty. It's hard to see, but I didn't want to turn on the light in here. I was just trying to use the natural light. But I wore it yesterday. I was in a hurry getting my makeup on because my husband had called me and said we need to go and get some lunch. A friend of ours that's been helping us move was with us, and so... I didn't get to play around with this palette as much, and I'm really not able to play around super much with it like I was yesterday, but, you know, I still wanted to take my time and get ready, but, 
And I need to blend out the shade closer to my... Hmm. I really would like to get some other makeup brushes. I've been asking... Um, my best friend was asking me what did I want for Christmas. I just told her a gift card to any of the beauty stores in general. Because if I get a gift card to Ulta, I'm probably going to go ahead and buy some more makeup brushes. Because I really need, would like to have some different ones. There we go. I tell you, I would love to get my hands on some Sedona Lace brushes. I, I've seen the set. I thought it was $80, but the one I want is going to be about $100. And it's got the fan brush that I've been in love with ever since I saw it. Of course, there's still that $20 pair that I've been... I think it's from BH Cosmetics that... I don't know if it's BH Cosmetics or if it's somebody else. But um, I've still got my Real Technique brushes and I love them. It's just I am want to expand my brush collection so I've got a little bit of a... A little bit better selection, I guess. I love this color. This will probably be a better color for the lid, but I don't know. I just thought it went on there really pretty yesterday, and it was just one of those colors. I was like, oh, yeah. And I'm sorry if this is a sucky job at what I'm doing, but I'm, I am still kind of getting better. I, I'm probably going to... I don't know. But I really was in the mood to film. And I wanted to do this, so. And I will straighten up those. I go up and, you see this? See, I will uh, fix that. I think I can fix that right now. I got my... I usually don't fix stuff in like toward the end. To make sure I get it done to save time. But I don't leave the house looking like this, so I actually gotta straighten my hair up a little bit. But um yeah, uh, I don't know if I told you guys in a video, but my best friend has agreed to do the best friend tag. I'm just trying to figure out when. I was gonna do it with her today, but she is busy cooking for her family's Thanksgiving. So I don't know. We'll do it soon. I thought that I thought that was a trip that she said she would do it though. So we'll see. Okay, now instead of putting that white color in this palette, I'm gonna use my I have a headache. The top of it came out. Actually, I'm gonna use a different brush. And I'm sorry if you see all the oo in the background. I am still trying to get this unpacked. I have like a backup or two of this one, but I also have brulee. So if I, I think I've got, that might be my backup I have of that. And um, I found my brulee singles that I sh shared with you guys in the vanity tour. So I can just easily use this. I just, I, know, I think I like this one a little bit better. And this also gives me a chance to, whenever I'm going to finish up my eyes, to make sure i gotten everything blended out. If I didn't, go back in there and straighten it all out. Okay, we really, really need to go back in there with that blending brush. I, I don't know. Sometimes I'll get frustrated with it and just go, okay, it's blended, and go like that. But, um, anyway, yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing. I'll, I'll probably straighten this up a little bit more. But that's the eye look I put together. Um, again, it's not perfect, but, you know, it works for me. And yeah, I'm really nervous in this video. I just don't do well on these videos. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. I usually don't do my brows, but since I I purchased this brow powder, I just go in. This is the NYC Brow Powder in Brunette. 
love this. This is some great stuff. And I just, I use this, this is actually a, a liner brush that I use from Forever 21. And I just fill it in. Now it's got the wax on there, but I don't know about you ladies, I don't ever use the wax on it. That pimple is really red. Maybe I should have covered that up before I started. And this stuff right here, I will tell you, will last on me. Like, I'll put this on, and by, by the time I get home from work, I'm going to bed at, like, midnight. I will not, um, I'll get home sometime around 11, 11.30, and it just depends on if I need to make a stop for dinner. The, the brow powder will stay on my eyelids. I can be working all day and, and not budge. Okay. Now I'm going to put my eyeliner. I decided to go with, um, this one is uh, Essence Berry Mary. It's a really, really pretty one. It's an automatic pencil, which is another thing I love. I got this at Ulta again. Um, you really supposed to try out Essence products. They've got a lot of good products over there. And they're easy to work with. Now, there's been some mascara hype with some of their mascaras. I've tried their mascaras. Um, I don't think I like any of their mascaras. But, um, I don't know. I just still am on the best last extreme. Ooh, that looks pretty with that. And I just broke the pencil. <laughs> Put too much pressure on it. Now this is an eyeshadow pencil. I'm going to have to go back and see if they have still and go back and repurchase it. Not because I'm using, I'm just using it a lot since I bought it, but anyway, Essence products are really nice. I wish they would come out with a bigger line and I'm not sure if they do or if it's just what Ulta sells. Now yeah, I'm going to I'm going to have to do my under Let me go off camera. I don't know if you guys will be able to see me or not. I shouldn't probably be bringing down my eyes like that. but um, When I woke up this morning, my eyes were like Miss Puffy thing, you know. And I could feel it. Okay, I look like a raccoon. I know. Okay, let me get my mascara on first. Okay, I'm going to put on the L3 in 1 mascara today. I love this mascara. This is a really great mascara. Here's the one in case you're wondering. I don't know if you've seen it. They sell this at Kroger and Target and of course on Elf's website. I think Target has a better selection though. Now this little ball right here on this mascara didn't freak me out as much as some other mascaras I've tried. They, they've gotten some other mascaras out there. They've got a really big spiky roller ball. But yeah, this is a pretty good mascara. You put this one with the Miss Manga mascara, it works really good. Um, I know I've talked about that Miss Manga mascara, but I think it's starting to dry out and it's not supposed to. Okay. Got to fix my little eyeballs here. Sorry, I get really quiet when I'm doing my eyes. Okay. I'm going to have to do the cleanup off camera. But 
Anyway, that's the I look of the day. Let me share with you. Here's I look, and I will come back and do a part two. This will be separate. I hope you guys liked the getting ready with me video. Let me know if you want me to do more in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't, then I guess give me a thumbs down. But let me know if you want me to for sure do more of these. If you do, I will do more of them. But, um, yeah. Anyway, that's it for now. I will see you guys in the part two. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you later.